M0FXB, welcome to my channel, ATS25X1 receiver. So the question I had asked was, how do you select bandwidth? Well, luckily, it's all on the front screen. So there's your main screen. You can select, you know, ham like so if you want. And select the ham band. So just go back by tapping the screen. You can also select different frequencies and type them in. You can select the step when you step through, it says step here. But the one thing you can also do, oh, I'll just quickly say mode there, LSB, USB, even does FT8 decode this one, is bandwidth. There you go. And you've got 0 0.5, 1.0, 1.2, 2.2, 3, and 4.0. And then once you've selected the one you want, let's just say you select the narrower one, push like so. Turn up the volume, push again, go to mode if you want, and go to LSB, which is already there. You do have broadcast radio, you don't have to select that. Let's, you've got this as well. See that? BFO, and you can adjust that. It's like a fine tune. And these are only about £60, I think they're great. You can mute it, attenuator, does that say AGC and just volume as well, but really just push this really. Next, you've got a whole nother menu, scanning, light, information, setup, big long setup screen, retro radio or FM radio. There is a switch on the back where you can select if you're going to use shortwave listening or HF bands, I'll just show you. Look at it, there's your BNC, and then look, FM, if you're gonna do the FM stuff, and then shortwave, medium wave, long wave, SSB on the right. So you just turn it off, go to FM, turn it on. Headphone, and it, remember, this has got a battery in it, it's rechargeable. I think, mean, for what you get, for what you pay, them, so you get a lot for your money, that's what I think. So we're on FM, put the antenna back on, so I just took that off. I'm on the BNC connector. And, you know, just a length of wire is going to get you something. Let's just go to next then. Oh, you've got RDS. That gives you information of what you're listening to. So you've got it here, look. And it will get text, you know. I know that's a signal there. There it goes. BBC Radio 4. I mean, it's so good. Um, and you've got the retro style. Go exit for that and volumes there and there's even band selection there. You can you can save memories. See that? You can save memories. Exit. C B band here. We're now C B. You select volume within that by pushing here. Go to 19. Breaker breaker. How can you not like this device? Frequency, type in what you want. So we go, I don't know, 7 dot O. Oh, did it give it the dot? I don't know. Okay. And we're on this band here. Is that 40 megs? You can change the step. Step 10. Step. Well, that was 110. See what? See the way it works? And again, back to bandwidth. I tend to choose three. So I hope you like this device. I think it's a good device. You know, 60, 70 quid, and they're, they're just good. I have updated mine with some firmware um, made by a... Um, I'm trying to forget who he is, but... Adreno, I think, made by them, and it really improved this whole device. So I highly recommend that. It was about £8, but it was worth it. Thanks for watching my channel. Please remember to like and subscribe. Catch you on air. All the best.